So there is an emerging body of literature to highlight the role of the failure, failure of resolution of inflammation in atherosclerosis. And what we know is that atherosclerosis is this long-term progressive disease that has lots of different components associated with this disease. But one of the major components we're learning is this non-resolving inflammation. And this failure of resolution is this failure to limit this uh, ongoing inflammation in the arterial wall. My lab is working on um, understanding how to boost resolution when it fails. And what we found fairly early on, and especially when I was a postdoc in Dr. Ira Tabus's lab at Columbia University, was that there were specific regions in human atherosclerotic plaques that were more able to produce SPMs in balance with pro-inflammatory leukotrienes than others. And we're trying to understand what components of the plaques, why certain regions of plaques can generate um, SPMs better than others. And we are currently working on uh, specific cellular programs like necrosis and cellular senescence and how these programs that are known to drive necrosis and promote inflammation and how they specifically derange resolution programs. I think there is immense potential for SPMs or SPM therapy in, in atherosclerosis. So as I mentioned previously, we found this imbalance in SPMs to leukotrienes and in human plaques. We were able to recapitulate that to the best of our ability in murine systems and murine models of atherosclerosis in which we could prove causation for this imbalance, which means that we took the defectively generated resolvins, which in our case was resolvin D1, we added it back as a therapeutic to, mo to mice. And we found that that significantly decreased lesion necrosis and it prevented atheroprogression. And I should say that you know, several groups worldwide have been able to reproduce findings like that and be published together. And, and this is a really seems to be robust worldwide results, at least in murine systems. I think there is a tremendous therapeutic uh, potential for this because you know, the, the failure of resolution is essentially the foundation for why inflammation persists. And a very important component about resolution is that it boosts immune cells. It boosts your own immune system to help itself. So in addition to limiting inflammation and, and promoting and, and limiting all the bad stuff that's associated with atherosclerotic plaques, what it does is that these mediators program your cells to help fix the tissue. And I think that's what's ultimately missing. And if you can think of the analogy of like a forest fire, a smoldering fire over time, if you just put a hose on it and, you know, extinguish the fire, you still see, you know, these corpses of trees. So you, you don't have persistent inflammation, but you do, or persistent fires. You've controlled the fire, but you're still left with damage. And what resolution mediators like SPMs do is they promote repair. They're essentially like growing new trees and growing new seeds. And I, that's ex especially critical in a disease like atherosclerosis where you're dealing with um, blockage, potential blockages or potential problems to very critical organs like your heart and your brain.